Okay guys, so I just came out here to hang out and a big wasp just came flying over here holding a tomato hornworm. So he was going to go behind this chair. I don't know if he's there. I moved the chair out of the way and it slipped and fell. And look at what was in there. It's making a nest. Look at all those tomato hornworms it collected from my tomato plants. They're still alive. He just put them in these little cells, I guess, to feed the young. Look at how many tomato hornworms there are. And this wasp has just been collecting them off of my tomato plants. I definitely thank it for the him. I thank him for doing that. But I think I just destroyed his house behind this chair. Again, I don't know if he's back there. I don't want to move the chair again. Because if he's back there, he might sting me. But he just came and he was holding another really big one. So this wasp is definitely helping me out. By taking, look at all of these tomato hornworms. It's collected. I saw him last weekend doing it. I didn't realize though how many how many horn worms he's actually taking off that tomato plant to help me out. <laughs> and then I just destroyed his home by accident. He's back there probably like, "Oh, dang, now I got to fix it." See him? He has one of the hornworms right now, and he's putting it into one of those clay cells he has. Unfortunately, I did break one or two of them. He just flew away, so I just want to show you. Those are all mudded. Those all have baby larvae in them and tomato hornworms so they can feed on them inside there until they're ready to get hatched. So I really only broke like one or two of them. Let's get a closer look. Let's get a closer look at the ones I broke down here. Look at all these tomato hornworms guys. They are just loaded inside there. Just loaded up. And still alive. Still, still wiggling. They are still alive. Now, is this wasp saving them for himself? Or is there a larvae inside that one? I don't think this one was done. I think. That's why it came back with another one, because it was going to fill it back up some more. Not quite sure. But just very, very crazy. <laughs> it has really been helping me out some, hasn't it? I wish I could find the actual larvae of the bee. Let's break that one open a little. Let's break this one open and see if we can see it. What is that? I think this... I wonder if that is the larvae of the bee. It is. That's the bee larvae. So yeah, there's babies inside each of these cells. And the mama is stocking them with food. So those are all set to produce bees. Really don't want it by my house. It's right by my front door. I'm not going to destroy them. There's my front door. But I am going to relocate this chair to where they can uh, hatch in a better setting for all of us. As for that one, well, 
I don't think it has much of a chance. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I tell you what, guys, that is real life stuff right there. That is nature in your own little backyard. You don't really think about it much, but man, these wasps and all these different bees and all these different insects, they help your garden. They get rid of the tomato hornworms, obviously. That wasp had probably 20 of them, plus those other capsules that are sealed up behind the chair are probably packed full of them. So that thing probably took 50 of those things off of my plants throughout the last couple weeks. And it's working for me in my garden while I'm at work not being able to hand pick those things off. Wow, that was a cool discovery. I'm kind of sad that I broke one of them, but I was trying to move the chair out of the way and the wasps came back. And so I kind of freaked out and tried to set it down and it slid down the house and, you know, hit the ground and that one broke off. So one of them broke off, but there's still quite a few there. And like I said, I'm not going to take it and throw it away or nothing. No, no, no. I'm going to just leave it there. I'm going to maybe move the chair away from my front door so they can hatch in a different area of the yard. But I know they sting and they hurt when they sting, but they also are a benefit to the garden. So be nice around your wasps and your bees and all that stuff if you have a garden because they're helping you. They're working for you and they don't even know it. And sometimes you don't even know it either because I didn't know that was going on. I saw that wasp last weekend carrying a tomato hornworm over by the chair, but I didn't put two and two together. I was just like, oh, the thing caught one to eat. Cool. Nope. Stocking them up. Storing them. Getting them off my tomato plant and letting her larvae feed off them. That's so cool. Anyway, this was just an unexpected little video, but I had to show you that. How cool is that, right? Garden, pests, that we call pests, bees, wasps, they help. Keep them in your garden, guys. That's it. The circle of life does not take long to work. Literally about five minutes since I've taped. I came back out. I was going to collect them and feed them to the chickens. Well, too late. Ants are already all on it. 